All right. So today I'm going to be showing you guys the effect of orientation on pistons. So in Create Mod, pistons don't exactly work as you'd expect. And what I mean by that is, well, if you look here, you can see that all these shafts are rotating counterclockwise. They're all going in the same direction, yet two of the pistons are extended and two are retracted. So this this isn't so bad when you're making stationary builds, but when you're you're making airships or anything else that moves, like I like to make this, is a... This is a major headache that I've I've figured out a little bit and I don't understand fully how it works. So what I did is I set up all these platforms uh, to do some experiments. So we'll be going through each one and we're going to be looking at the results of each. So first platform, this is just a simple encased fan with a piston on top. So all the shafts are rotating the same direction. And so if you'll notice that the pistons that are facing south and the pistons that are facing west are extended and the ones that are facing north and east are retracted so that's that holds true for whenever the pistons orientation changes I've gone ahead and um, added in some speed controllers here so through trial and error I kind of figured out that having speed controllers and gearboxes helps us in some way but not every combination works so you see again the pistons are following the same behavior where Half of them go out, half of them go in for the same input. And that, I mean, that just shouldn't happen. That doesn't really make sense. So this is, yeah, I mean, this is definitely a bug. Okay, so I've gone and I've changed it around a bit, but really it's the same thing as the other one. You might think it's different, but really it's the south facing and the west facing are one way, and the north and the east are the other way. So that one also gets a red piece of wool to indicate it's a failure. Though, not, I mean science so it's not a failure it's just a way of knowing what doesn't work it's a piece of data okay again same problem I added in I changed the design a little bit I said okay what happens if I I put my rotational input into the bottom part and, and then the output in the top part but no change that has no effect as far as I can tell so here's one that works this one does not use a speed controller and actually I I have a hard time understanding. I think the fact of having a sequence gear shift, gear shift helps. So as you can see, they all extend and then retract. So even if I do this again, they'll all do the same thing. So they're extending and retracting when I turn it because of the observers here. So this works. So this gets a green wool. If we look again, it's just, just a vertical gear shift vertical gearbox into a sequence gear shift and into the piston. So this one works. Of course, it's always better to have a speed controller to be able to make your pistons extend faster, so I set this up. Unfortunately, unfortunately it has a problem, but this is weird. Oh no, it's not so weird. It's the same as the previous ones, but the next, well, there's a few coming up that are going to be a little weird and I really don't understand them. So this again is a failure. I decided to go in and throw in some more gearboxes since I, something about changing direction cancels out the effects of rotation. So here, yeah, so here we have the north and the east that are out, and the south and the west facing ones go in. Aha, so this is the strange one where I made this setup here, and look, it's not the ones that are side by side, it's the ones that are opposite that are working the same way. So that's I don't even know what's going on here. This kind of, this bothers me. I don't like, uh, it's it's strange. And I mean, they're all the same sequence gear shifts, right and then left, right and then left, right and left, right and left. So this is a really weird one. Um, I made a few changes. So I tried to, I said, okay, well maybe if I change a few things it'll behave differently and I can figure out what's going on. Unfortunately, no. Same old nonsense where the the opposite ones are. I mean, you know, this isn't this isn't better. This is just more confusing. So it's like I fixed it somehow, but then I broke it a different way, and I do not understand this. Finally, all right, this is actually the setup that I use in pretty much all my engines that I just figured out through trial and error. So that's actually I actually copied this from my um my um, airship fundamentals video, I have my uh, forward segment 
that I just copied that over here, and this will work. So, if you look, all the pistons extend and retract, and they all do so the same way each time. So basically how that works is that I have these encased fans uh, going up into these gearboxes, um, down a shaft into another gearbox that goes to the bottom of the speed controller. Um, the output is at the top of the speed controller through this uh, encased chain drive into another vertical um, gearbox and finally into the piston. So why I have these um, encased chain drives that, like I said, there's something about the, every time you add a turn, it, it has an effect or sometimes it has an effect. So I, using these, these uh, chain drives helps not have too many turns, but I don't, again, I don't fully understand it. So this is kind of, I mean, this, I, I just figure out through trial and error, right? So this, this gets a green piece of wool. It works. It's what I use in all my engines. But like I said, I don't understand why. So if anybody has any ideas or, or knows or understands fully how these pistons work, uh, I would love to hear that. So just, I mean, you can contact me. Uh, you can write a message in my comments. I want to know. This is I made this because I wanted to figure this out, and I still haven't figured it out 100%. So... I left, uh, this is going to be a schematic in the video description, so you guys can go ahead and uh, bring this into your world and experiment if, if you'd like. And if you figure it out, I, I would really love to know. All right. So there you guys go. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.